Hey you guys, I just wanted to share something. I just got my book, Catherine Bertine. If you haven't heard of this lady, she's a dear friend of mine, uh, Stand. She has been an activist in the cycling field for years. She's got uh, a great documentary out and multiple books now. Uh, and I am really excited to read your book, Catherine. Super excited. I feel like I'm going to open up parts of your mind that I haven't gotten to know yet. And I'm looking forward to that. And it makes me want to speak about vulnerability because I know, um, Catherine, that you got vulnerable to write this book in order to get down to some of the nitty gritty of the lessons that you've learned and to really share some of your potency. And I just honor that so much. And I think so many of us really need uh, some freedom. You know, I think some of us, like me, who have a lot to say, over time have sort of led lives that feel a little frustrated because we're, we're quiet. We haven't found our voice. We haven't heard our own voice yet. And it can feel like we're small, you know, like we are not living to our potential. <clears throat> when we feel frustrated in our lives or or kind of like life is just battering us around you know we can feel powerless and we can feel um unhappy unfulfilled who here knows what it's like to feel feel unfulfilled to live an unfulfilled life i, I bet a lot of us do and i really believe after working with people for so many years that it has a lot to do with not being embodied within yourself, not knowing who you are and how to live in your life as a force, right? So finding your voice is about finding boundaries for yourself, being able to speak those, finding yeses for yourself, being able to seek those yeses out and create your life with power and with self-awareness. This has a lot to do with your own voice, with knowing it, you know, but our society, our families, sometimes our friends and our communities don't want to hear our voices, right? They don't want to hear our boundaries. They don't want to hear our opinions. They don't want to hear how we differ from them or how we don't like the way they treat us. Or, you know, like Catherine, my friend in her book, she's speaking up for women in cycling and she's had an interesting journey of it, right? She's had a lot of wins and a lot of supports and a lot of amens, but also a lot of people naysaying and a lot of people getting angry with her and trying to push her down because she's speaking up. And I think this can be a lesson in our private lives too, even if we're not writing books, even if we're just raising our kids or trying to be good people or trying to be good business owners, that we can use this kind of an example to say, hey, well, what would it look like if I spoke up in my own life. You know, we step aside for our kids, we step aside for our partners, we step aside for our businesses, our families, our society, and we don't have to. I think life is richer if we step up and actually live from our truth. We live from our self-connection. So we live from our power. This is all power, right? I think the world is deeply craving empowerment. We are deeply craving people's voices, people's realness, people's inner world to come out. You know, there's so much hidden behind everyone's faces and lives and stories. And I think we're all beginning to see that there's more behind all of that, that really is rich. You know, I think a lot of us are craving more truth, more um, potency. So I encourage you to grab books like Catherine Bertine's Stand and to grab other books and to listen to people like me who are finding their voices and speaking up for wellness, for empowerment, for self-connection and for self-care. Uh, it all starts here. It all starts here. If you follow me on here or YouTube or Instagram, you know I'm always talking about facing inward toward the self and getting connected to who you really are and empowering that so that you can create the life that you want. I am a health coach. I am a trainer. I've been working with people for years and I'm on a journey right now of coming into my empowerment, speaking up and firmly standing on my feet, even if the people I have been close to forever don't like what I have to say. That's okay because it has to be about what I need to say at this point. I'm in my 40s. It's time. I hope you guys are all having a great week. And I look forward to seeing you again on my next live.